first ever Q&A with Tim. So excited for today. But before we start the Q&A, we got to get some of the best coffee in town. Hello. What I'm looking for is yeah. the biggest cup of coffee you have with the most caffeine in it. Okay. That would make somebody who has three kids and no sleep work super hard. Awesome, thank you so much. Martin, I bought this for you. Coffee. All right, Q and A. Looking forward to it. Here we go. Just get rid of these axes. So coming available next week, Friday, April thirtieth. Anyways, all right, we're gonna pound through some questions. I put it out to Instagram and YouTube stories the other day, and we've got some questions to answer. Here we go. Your work is driven by curiosity. Do you ever feel like that creates any limitations? Never thought about it before, but yes, I think that would definitely create some limitations. It's very good to have exposure to different things that makes you think differently or other people. Cool question. That's good food for thought. Moving on. What tools should I buy to get started? Ooh, well, I'd get a forge and something that you can smash steel on, like an anvil, it doesn't have to be an anvil, it could be a big chunk of steel, it could even be like a big sledgehammer. Get a hammer, some tongs, and an angle grinder will get you really far with being able to fabricate the things you need to get started in blacksmithing. Have you ever thought about teaching a blacksmithing class? Hmm, not really, seriously, I felt like Ah, I really wanted to focus on pushing myself, so teaching is something that I would say, leave that to the experts. <laughs> but actually, recently I have thought a little bit about doing some tutorial stuff, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Should, we, should I do some tutorial-based stuff? Is that of any interest to anyone? Let me know in the comments below. When you crash another car, hopefully never, can you make a knife? Yes. Where do I start for bladesmithing? Straight to forging or learn how to make a blade first? I guess the question is posed, it seems like forging and making a blade are two separate things. If that's the case, then if you just wanna make a blade, don't worry about forging, just do stock removal and just grind it to how you want it to be. If you feel unsatisfied with that, start with forging, forge your blade, then grind your blade. That's in my mind how I would think about it at least. What was your biggest obstacle to overcome being self-employed blacksmith? business side, for me, I've really struggled with being able to make the sales and consistently bring in revenue to the business. How did you start in blacksmithing and who introduced you to it? When I was 13, I was studying medieval times in school. I saw a book with a little picture of chainmail, and I thought to myself, that looks really cool. I would love to try to make that. Started into chainmail and that progressed into forging. Here we are today. What does your axe eye brooch look like? And what kind of steel is it made from? I think that would be saying, what does your drift look like? It looks exactly like the eye of an axe. I know that kind of sounds a little bit rude, but that's the truth. It's just an old teardrop shape. I make them out of S7 tool steel. H13 is good, but I find S7 a little bit better because the power hammer really hits them down when you have to spread out your cheeks on the eye. Highly recommend S7 and H13 if you want to make the best possible tools for forging. How's your day going? Very good, thank you for asking. How do you start in this world? Uh, world of blacksmithing, I think I've kind of answered that. World of YouTube, I haven't actually ever talked about that. I feel like that's a big question though. But basically I felt like I wasn't being creatively pushed in my blacksmithing work when I was making architectural custom work for people. And that was sort of a driving factor to bring me here to YouTube. Cold forge or gas forge? Ooh, good question. My answer is both. If I had to choose just one, I would take gas forge over cold forge. What's been your biggest motivation to keep working and making videos in tough times? Ho, 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 that's a question right there, isn't it? Yes, there's been some really hard times. 
really tough times. I'm pretty goal orientated and when I set my mind to a goal, I really go after that. And so even if it's hard and I'm not making very much progress, as long as there's progress or hope of future progress, then I'm usually can keep going. That does mean I have some pretty big lows. I don't know who says this statement, but uh, you can always quit tomorrow. And I have said that many days driving home from work. Of all the tools, weapons you've made, which is your favorite? People ask me this all the time and I don't have a good answer because I feel like it's sort of like saying, who's your favorite kid? You don't say that. They're all your favorite, right? Highlights though, some big architectural public art projects I was involved with when I was working for Paul Reimer. Some of the big homes we did with him. I would say some of the homes I've done self-employed. Last year doing the chain mail was a really satisfying project for me. I know that's broad in scope. I just, you know guys, I've made so many things. I just love the adventure of making it. It's not always about the finished project. It sounds kind of weird, I know, but it's the truth. How hard is it to learn blacksmithing? Very hard. It's doable though. I'm proof of that. <laughs> Date of birth and location, October 28th, 1990 in Abbotsford. How long did it take to miss all that vintage equipment? Do you prefer vintage machines? It has taken my whole life. I probably bought my first tool when I was about 12 or 13 as my anvil, the one I use every day still. And it has taken me my whole entire life up to this point to gather every blacksmithing tool I have. Can we see more titanium projects? Probably. If you had one specific task, forging, grinding, filing, etc. for the rest of your career, which one? I would choose forging hands down every single day. Don't even have to think about it. Would you ever make blacksmithing encyclopedia of some sort that people could buy? Maybe that's what we're doing on YouTube? I don't know. I'm not quite sure what that question's asking, but probably not any literature. I don't like writing. Do you ever go by Tim? How do you say your last name? Everybody calls me Tim, and my last name is pronounced Dick. Ever think of trying out an induction forge? Can't wait. So wanna try an induction forge. I would love to have one here at the shop. I just feel like it could open up so many cool possibilities. Hopefully someday I get to try one. Are your axes made out of W2? Nope, they are made out of 4140 or the 1908 train rail, 100 year old, whatever train rail is. What is it like working with Tim for almost two years now? Ah, question for Martin. I don't even know. Up and down, always different, always different. Pretty cool though. What's the worst item you forged? What went wrong? Oh, I've forged so many things that are terrible, I can't even tell you that. Everything's gone wrong on multiple projects. Favorite scrap steel to use? No favorite? depends on what I'm trying to build will depend on what I'd like to choose for that. Would you ever go on fortune fire? No. What's your favorite thing to make? Ooh, that's a good question actually. Favorite thing to make? Don't have a favorite. How does becoming a blacksmith in Canada work? Do you have to do an apprenticeship like in Germany? It works like this. You start a business, you put your title as artist blacksmith or blacksmith, and then you're rolling. There is no formal educational for blacksmithing in Canada, unfortunately. When and how did you start blacksmithing and tool making? Okay, I'm gonna talk about the tool making process because I feel like I've sort of mentioned how I got started in blacksmithing. I don't know why, but I really like tools, like making tools. And then you, <coughs> oh, I need water. <coughs> like making tools and then using those tools to make things, it is, extremely satisfying for me. So tool making was like right there at the beginning. The anodized titanium hammers are incredible. Thank you. Will you be working more with titanium? Probably. When did you make the switch to self-employment and how did you know it was right timing? I just wanted to start blacksmithing and being self-employed. That was my goal really from the beginning. So as soon as I was done my four year apprenticeship with Paul Reimer in 2013, I knew that I was gonna start doing this. There was no financial stability with that. I had saved up as much money as I could up to that point, and I just jumped in with both feet. 
Probably not the best way to do it. I can tell you that's not the best way to do it, but that's what I did. Here we are today. Will you do another fantasy project like the Gator Slayer? I hope so. That was fun. What's a good way to start blacksmithing if you've never done it before? Um, hmm. Get some one day classes with somebody. That will super speed up your learning curve. You can learn a lot from somebody in one day. That will get you going. What are the best and worst materials you worked with? Hands down, 100% titanium. It's both. It is. If you could ever partner up with a sponsor that would trade you their product for the benefit of using it on your channel, who would it be? Oh, I think a power hammer company. That'd be pretty cool. Maybe uh, Miller Welders, I like those. Makita Grinders, Hilti, I love Hilti stuff. I need an, uh, I need an induction forge, heat treating oven. <laughs> See what I'm doing here? It's a, uh, it's, uh, yeah, I'm just throwing that all out there. I'll, I'll use whatever product I get for free if I like it. If you could do a collab with another YouTuber, who would it be? That's actually something that I would really like to do. I've never done any collaboration stuff. I don't know, maybe I'm just a little bit shy and I really feel bad about asking people to work with me. Hey, do you wanna build something with me? It'd be really fun. Anyway, seriously though, I would like to do some. Um, I don't know, I think it'd be pretty cool to do something with Alex Steele. I think it'd be something cool to do with uh, Jason from Fireball Tools. Will Stelter, A Bomb, Essential Craftsman, Black Bear Forge. I don't know, there's so many guys. I'd love to do something someday, but we'll see what happens. What's your favorite color? Black. I don't even care if it's not a color, it's a color. Have any forge tips for an amateur blacksmith with more time than money? My suggestion would be make your own tools because the skills that you learn making your tools will make your work so much better. What's a cheap way to get into metalwork? I really think what you do is cool and I like to give the hammer a swing. Shout out from Zimbabwe, sweet. I started when I was really young, I had like no money. Blacksmithing, you can actually get started pretty cheap if you're very resourceful and use basically junk, but you can do it. Highly recommend that way actually. How does your business model work? Ah! Yeah, about that. How did you get into blacksmithing and when and why did you decide to document what you do on video? The documentation, I kind of said that I got into YouTube because I felt like I wasn't being creatively pushed as much as I wanted to be. For some reason, I really understand images and videos very well. and I just love conveying thought and idea through that. I think it's just kind of how I'm wired. Do you make architectural ironwork for clients or just focus on your online sales items? Right now, I am focused on YouTube and online sales selling the axes. Pretty much 100%. How did you build your name, brand, and channel? It sounds like I got it together. <sighs> um, there's no secret. I don't really know how to answer that. I just started blacksmithing and really pushed myself hard in that and I try to do a good job with everything I do. Okay, that's gonna be it for me today. Wrapping up here. I know I didn't get to answer all the questions, but thank you to everybody who posed a question. If you like this, I'd love to do it again. Let me know in the comments below or if you have some more questions, put it below. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next week, Friday, because I am genuinely pretty excited about that video and it's gonna be the axe drop, it's gonna be fun. We got a super hustle this week, so we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Again, thank you for watching. Please like this video, grab your favorite hammer and hit that like button, an even bigger hammer and smash. No, that subscriber button. We'll look forward to seeing you next video.